So, continuing our discussion on machine learning, let us move further. Machine learning, as we have studied till now, is automating the process of finding patterns or relationships in the data. Machine learning can be used for inference or prediction. Now, let us understand these terms with a simple example. Suppose that you have an exam. You somehow manage to get some previous question papers and answer sheets and you start analyzing them. You prepare a table stating question numbers and results. You write the marks a student get in each question in questions column and the result in results column. On creating more rows for each answer sheet, you get the following data set. Since you are interested in the results, so the result column becomes your output variable and all other question columns become your input variable. Now, you try to make some observations or conclusions based on the data you have. You try to find out some relationship between your input variables and your output variable. Like, you observe that most of the students who get a score of 5 or 6 in question number 6 and 7 pass the examination. Or, some students who get full marks in 2 marks questions are not able to attempt 6 marks questions properly. This process of understanding the relationship between variables is known as inference. Now, after giving the exam, you analyze that how many marks you would get in every question. And then by comparing your possible marks with the data set you have, you make a calculated guess that either you will pass the exam or not. Here, you are trying to predict your result based on the data you already have. This is known as prediction. In prediction, you are not concerned about how the variables are internally dependent on each other. And the only thing that matters is your predicted output. But in inference, getting a correct prediction is not the priority. We are more concerned about finding and understanding the relationship and dependencies between the variables. So, representing the difference between prediction and inference in a tabular format will be 